Welcome to Movie Time, and today we present a countdown of the top 10 best movies available on Netflix. This selection comprises lesser-known movies that are guaranteed to captivate you. If you haven't already watched them, they should definitely be included on your list. Please be aware that the availability of certain films may differ based on your geographical location. If you enjoyed our selection of the top 10 movies, please feel free to share it with friends who share your passion for films. Stay tuned until the end of the video and share your favorite film with us in the comments. Number 10, The Hill. You can't play baseball. What if I swing that bat? I ain't crippled no more. The Hill is a biographical sports drama film that chronicles the inspiring true story of Ricky Hill, a young boy afflicted with a spinal disease who harbors the dream of playing Major League Baseball. Despite facing the challenge of wearing leg braces throughout his childhood, and despite his father's strong wish for him to pursue a career as a pastor, Ricky persists in his pursuit of his baseball dreams. Unable to run, Ricky dedicates countless hours to hitting small rocks with a stick in the rural landscapes of Texas. When circumstances force his family to relocate with only the clothes on their backs, Ricky seizes the opportunity to engage in real baseball, igniting within him an unwavering passion for the sport. Colin Ford and Dennis Quaid deliver captivating performances as Ricky and his father, respectively, drawing viewers into Ricky's journey from beginning to end. Directed by Jeff Celentano, The Hill was released in 2023 to critical acclaim for its poignant portrayal of perseverance and triumph in the face of adversity. Number 9. Sweet Girl Sweet Girl is a 2021 action thriller film directed by Brian Andrew Mendoza. The story revolves around Ray Cooper, played by Jason Momoa, vows to seek justice after his wife's death due to a pharmaceutical company's price-gouging policies. The company Bioprime had denied her life-saving treatment. As Ray delves into uncovering the truth, he becomes a target for those protecting the corporation's secrets. Alongside his daughter, Rachel played by Isabella Merced, Ray embarks on a dangerous journey of revenge and redemption. Dodging hired assassins and navigating through a web of deceit, they uncover a conspiracy that goes deeper than they imagined. While the stakes rise, Ray must confront his own demons and decide how far he's willing to go to protect his family and expose the truth. Number 8. Blood and Gold The story begins with Heinrich, a humble private in a small platoon, facing the gallows for desertion. He is disillusioned by his side's actions and simply desires to return home to find his child. But the soldiers abandon him and leave him to die without any assurance of completing the task. He is rescued by Elsa, a spirited farmer's daughter, who along with her brother Paul, protects their homestead. Paul, who has an unspecified learning disability, has been shielded by Elsa from being sent to the death camps. Meanwhile, in the neighboring town, an officer and Sergeant Savage coerced locals into revealing the location of a rumored stash of gold belonging to a Jewish family who have been sent to a concentration camp. While tensions rise, Heinrich and the siblings find themselves defending the city against troops intent on plundering its resources. It is a German action war film that was released in 2023. Number 7. Against the Ice <laughs> Against the Ice is set in 1909. Nikolai Koster Waldau plays Captain Einar Mikkelsen, who's heading up Denmark's Alabama expedition. The mission aims to refute the United States' claim that Greenland consists of two separate islands, thus thwarting their assertion over northeastern Greenland. Accompanied by his inexperienced crew member, Ivor Iverson, Mickelson embarks on a trek across the icy terrain, leaving their ship behind. Despite discovering evidence supporting Greenland's unity, their return to the ship proves arduous. Confronting severe hunger, exhaustion, and a polar bear attack, they eventually reach the ship, only to find it crushed in the ice and the camp deserted. While days pass, their grip on reality weakens, fostering mistrust and paranoia. Against the Ice, a 2022 historical survival film directed by Peter Flint, draws its inspiration from the true events recounted in Two Against the Ice by Einar Mikkelsen. Number 6. Bright. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. In an alternate Los Angeles, humans coexist uneasily with fantasy creatures. Los Angeles Police Department officer Daryl Ward, a human, is forced to partner with the city's first orc officer, Nick Jacoby. 
Their patrol takes a dark turn when they discover a powerful magical wand, sought after by various factions including corrupt cops and a secretive cult. Amidst the chaos, they encounter an elf named Layla, who seeks the wand for nefarious purposes. While tensions rise, Daryl and Nick must navigate a treacherous underworld while confronting their own prejudices and personal demons. Together, they fight to protect the wand and prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. Along the way, they forge an unlikely bond and challenge the societal divides plaguing their world. In a city torn by violence and mistrust, they must rely on each other to survive and bring about a fragile peace. Bright is a 2017 fantasy action film directed by David Ayer. Number 5. Gerald's Game Gerald's Game is a gripping psychological thriller released in 2017. The story follows Jessie Burlingame and her husband, Gerald, on a secluded getaway in an attempt to rekindle their marriage. However, their plans take a sinister turn when Gerald dies suddenly during an intimate games, leaving Jessie handcuffed to the bed with no hope of rescue. As she grapples with her terrifying predicament, Jessie's mind begins to unravel delving into her traumatic past and confronting her deepest fears. Haunted by hallucinations and memories of childhood abuse, Jessie must summon all her strength and resourcefulness to survive. Through sheer determination and ingenuity, she faces her inner demons and fights for her life against seemingly insurmountable odds. With a riveting performance by Carla Gugino and masterful direction by Mike Flanagan, Gerald's Game delivers a chilling tale of survival, resilience, and the darkness that lurks within us all. Number four, The Equalizer 3. That's a two. That's a three. The film follows Denzel Washington portraying Robert McCall, a former government assassin, burdened by his dark past. Motivated by an unwavering quest for redemption, McCall finds solace in advocating for the rights of the downtrodden. Despite his unexpected adaptation to life in southern Italy, he uncovers that his newfound allies are trapped in the clutches of merciless local crime bosses. As tensions escalate, McCall prepares himself for a perilous confrontation, resolved to shield his comrades by confronting the formidable mafia. The storyline brims with suspense as McCall's steadfast determination propels him into the midst of a hazardous struggle where allegiance and righteousness clash in a fight for survival. The Equalizer 3 is a 2023 action crime thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua. It serves as a sequel to The Equalizer 2 and concludes The Equalizer trilogy, loosely inspired by the television series of the same title. Number 3. The Killer The story revolves around an emotionless and systematic contract killer played by Michael Fassbender, who operates in the shadows of existence. During a mission, an unexpected incident occurs, leading to a significant mistake on his part. Consequently, he decides to flee the scene and embarks on a meticulously planned journey under various aliases to reach his safe haven. Along the way, he discovers that his girlfriend had been assaulted previously and is currently hospitalized. Unbeknownst to him, there are individuals relentlessly pursuing him with the intent to end his life. Systematically, he eliminates all those involved in harming his girlfriend as he navigates through his journey. The Killer is a 2023 action thriller film directed by David Fincher, adapted from the French graphic novel series of the same name. Number 2. Society of the Snow Society of the Snow is a Spanish survival thriller film released in 2023, directed by J.A. Bayona. The film depicts the true story of 16 members and supporters of an amateur rugby team from the old Christians Club in Uruguay, who managed to survive against all odds in one of the world's most inhospitable environments. Out of 45 passengers, these individuals endured 72 days of harsh conditions by defying the elements. The narrative focuses on their resilience and unity in the face of adversity. The story revolves around the infamous 1972 crash of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, where the survivors were stranded on a remote glacier high in the Andes Mountains. Despite the terrifying circumstances, the film also portrays the camaraderie and strength that emerged among the survivors as they battled starvation, freezing temperatures, and extreme weather events. Society of the Snow offers a poignant portrayal of human endurance and the will to survive against all odds. Number 1. The King On me! 
The film follows the journey of Hal, played by Timothy Chalamet, a young prince who reluctantly ascends to the English throne as King Henry V after the death of his father, Henry IV. Initially, Hal is disinterested in the responsibilities of kingship and is more comfortable carousing with his friend Falstaff, played by Joel Edgerton. However, as tensions rise with France and rebellions erupt within England, Hal is forced to confront the challenges of leadership. With guidance from his mentor Falstaff and counsel from his advisors, Hal transforms into a determined and strategic monarch. He navigates political intrigue, battles on the battlefield and personal betrayals, ultimately leading England to victory in the Battle of Agincourt. The film culminates in Henry V's triumphant return to England and his consolidation of power, albeit with personal sacrifices and moral compromises. The King is a 2019 historical drama film directed by David McCord, based primarily on several Shakespearean plays. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Feel free to leave a comment down below, share your thoughts, or suggest topics you'd like to see in upcoming videos.